Hello. It's open. Let me get Zena's concept out real quick. She did draw something beautiful for the level. Yeah, some of those. Hello, I'm Kyle. Hello, Master Chicken. You're done now. So Zena made a little concept art for the Piranha Plant. Can you see it? You can see it a little bit. It's very pretty. So that's probably gonna be what we 3D model today. Any OST wishes for today? Hello, Astromat. Hello, Liliana. Let me get my water again. I probably have to steal Zena's chair today. Check hydration level, I did just take a quick sip of this. DKC2, where to go? <clears throat> oh, I guess we're already 36 minutes in. That is fine by me. So I changed the way that auto rotate works by quite a bit. Um, yeah. It takes some getting used to for me. But overall it should be a lot more intuitive. What's wrong with my microphone? It was turned away. Is it better now? This area is actually so pretty. I like it. Now it is good. Perfect. What is minus 18 degrees today? Holy fuck. I like the water at the bottom too. It's a cute little detail. Putting water there just felt right.
So it's something to the roof. Like a bit of tree on the roof with some plants growing around it. Not sure what you're talking about. And but today is the day that we do the big prana plant anyway. It's case time. This is the plan. We make this. This is what Zena drew. So there's like one tree with green goo coming out of it. And there's prana plants with like a purple head. And we want to make it like glowy. You can't really see it, I guess. There. She didn't finish it fully. But it's pretty close. <clears throat> Neon red? I, I don't think that exists in computer graphics. Yeah, neon red is just red in computer graphics. There's some wavelengths that computers can produce, and I think neon red is one of them. And bright red. So like FF, 7F, 7F. So this plant has leaves, but they are a bit, um, they are fuzzier. So I probably want to get rid of these for now. We should probably take the autumn brenner head. Yeah, that's a bit sad that I have to get rid of this. But I want to base this on the autumn brenner, because that model was already finished. Should call the MP Retinas? <laughs> wow. What a pun. So they have curved teeth instead of this, and they have fewer teeth. Summer is pretty miserable. Well, it will get curved teeth, so... You're also trying to cut your coffee intake by a lot. I don't think cutting it slowly makes a lot of sense. I think the best way to do it is to just either get completely rid of it, or to not cut it at all. How much caffeine do you take a day, Leila? Today you drink any energy. Okay, but how much did you use to drink? And how much do you weigh? Does weight mean anything? Yes. Weight means everything in regards to caffeine consumption. <laughs> I think safe is around uh, four to six milligrams 
per kilogram of body weight for a male. And I think two to four milligrams per kilogram for a female. So for me, I could easily like have 450 milligrams and it would be healthy. After that, it gets less healthy. Like it would be better than no caffeine. Any thoughts on Delta Pokemon? What the fuck is a Delta Pokemon? You know what? Better idea. But how much do you weigh, Leela? Delta species? In the training card game. I don't understand. Why does it say, oh, Delta species here? Is it just a different looking Pikachu? The type. Oh, it changes the type. I don't understand how the TCG works. So it's very hard for me to have an opinion on it. But I am generally of the mindset that the simpler you can make your game to make it work, the better it is. So adding all these new things, in my opinion, is bad. That's all I can really say. Sixty something kilograms. So two cups of coffee a day should be fine for you. Yeah, I also got 12 kilograms or something in a year. Actually, not 12, more like eight or nine when I started working out. Well, this is the inverse of what I wanted. I don't know why it looks like this. This is not what I'm making. Hmm. 
Yeah, this is a fast 64 visual bug. It's purple in reality. 45 kilograms to 57? Holy shit! 45! Oh, okay, you're just 165 centimeter. Okay, that's... Okay. It sounded like you were basically dead, but being 165 centimeters, that is fair. I did not take the first 64 buggy mode away now. It should still be there. Let's make some teeth. You must be blind. Dude, I keep getting these emails. It's so annoying. I get two or three of it a day of these. But it's like they're asking to download my Romic. I wanna I wanna filter these. Can I just do that? No, I want to not get these anymore. Actually Whatever. You're trying to stop whom? Let's finish your Mac. You should put on a card center and enter as a resume. <laughs> the second I enter Japan, they will just arrest me. Hello, Luigi. Oh, no, 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 that's automatic. That's because they go to Google Drive and it says can't download from Google Drive. You need to ask for permission. And then they send the email that asks for permission. But I am banned from Google Drive. So that's why they can't download it. Right, but they keep sending emails asking for permission. Why are you banned? Take a fucking guess. <laughs> Why would I be banned off Google Drive? Hmm, I wonder. What did I do that potentially goes against the terms and services of Google Drive? How do you shade smooth again? Wait. H? I swear it used to be different. The problem is they are getting the download links from websites that link to my Google Drive. So I can't even stop it. <clears throat> yeah, Zena drew it with snake teeth. So it's getting snake teeth. If you skip this, everybody will adapt to the amount you're eating. You can't lose it that way. Uh, you will lose some weight. But your body will shut down your metabolism. It's not that it's gonna absorb more, right? Your body always absorbs as much as it can. Your body will just shut down your metabolism. And that's why you will slow down. So just eating less is not a sustainable way to lose weight. I mean, it will work for a bit, but you have to 
be miserable for the rest of your life or you will gain the weight back which is not something you want I would assume If you want to lose weight, all you can do is start implementing habits that actually just naturally make you gravitate towards a lower weight. Do the games have any sort of chance? You know other game teams who need music work? Uh, I don't know anyone that would actually pay you for music, no. I work with ROM hackers and... It's all like free work. And if you do ever get paid in raw making, then it's very little. It'd be done to make M64. I definitely need someone to convert M64s. And I mean, the guy that's doing it for me right now, I'm paying him $15 per M64 file. It's because I can't do it. I'm really bad at it. But the guy I'm doing it, or that's supposed to do it for me now, is like behind and he, like he hasn't finished the song in two or three months. It has gotten easier, but I can't do it. I thought that was easy. Well, if the quality of your M64 is not going to be good enough, I am going to reject it and not pay you. inconsistent what do you mean by that Let's see it's got a thick neck thick thick neck well you don't just have to do it you have to do it well doing it well is the issue obviously I can also make something that resembles the national anthem of the USSR but it's not gonna sound good Oh yeah, sometimes you'll get notes being out of range. That is also something you'll have to know how to fix. What is M64? That's the music format that Mario 64 uses. By the way, is it right to first get out of it before working out? Um, it's a valid way to do it, and technically it's the fastest way to get to the goal. But it's not a good way to get to the goal, because it's going to be miserable, and it's very unhealthy. You're better off just steadily gaining weight. You can personally stream compressed music, so how would you personally? It is possible, but first you need an actual good music format that is being efficiently decodable in Mario 64. But if you like 45 kilos and I represent fat, it's still same thing. I like an ass when I learned you sent the songs I did to someone else to convert them. I had no clue how much of a pain it was at the time. <laughs> yeah. Which, which songs did you do? But yeah, I always need someone else to convert them for me because I can't do it. I'm just too bad at it.
You did above the clouds and blue dance. Oh, oh, nice. Right, for lost impact. What will these plants do? They are big main plants that won't let the raccoons play on the trash heap. And you have to shoot trash at them to kill them. And there will be one big hat and one small hat. And I'm currently working on the big hat. I don't know the format either, but realistically, if you would want to make something specific to the N64, optimized for the RSP. I was throwing trash in the burner and lives in trash kill it. Why would throwing bricks at a human that lives inside bricks kill it? That's your question. They will spit toxic sludge. Because humans don't grow in bricks. Humans definitely grow in bricks. Have you ever seen babies? Posture check. Uh, my camera shakes. Whoops. That's what happens when I touch my, my thing. Here we go. Looking for textures. It's this thing again. That's something these were made from sex because I have to start growing them from bricks instead. <laughs> Good luck with that. Rename the stream trying to find textures. No, I'm not just trying, I am actually doing it. Oh, actually, their stem is green and Zena's drawing. So I will copy that over. Hey, baby, got any fun toys? No, but this brick should work, right? Dude, babies love bricks. <coughs> also, one thing I learned today is that babies love toilet paper packaging, apparently. The toilet paper, it says that 
you are not supposed to give the toilet paper packaging to the babies to play with. It's a bit confused, but it makes sense. Yeah, they do, clearly. Why else would it say that on the package? He can certainly grow a brick. I am trying very hard to compute that joke right now, but it's not computing. What did he mean by this? It's a poop joke. You are referring to pooping as growing a brick? Hello, Clayman. <clears throat> okay, next we need the actual main part of the tree. You know what, I want to periodically export this because I'm a bit worried about the preview because it's so inaccurate to what I'm expecting it to look like. Brazilians refer to the... Okay, you know what, Brazilians have fun. And you Portuguese? Wouldn't you know this? I don't know, because you're Portuguese maybe? Created by iPhone ads, ugh. iPhone sucks. plant but I'm working on it we're currently putting her in game this is the concept art if you want to see it Zena drew it there well you can't see shit can you now how about now surely one of these settings showed you the piranha Hello, Matthew. Nah, too bad. I can't see it. <laughs> Wait, it actually is blue? What the fuck? Why is it blue?
This looks pretty nice so far though. We're gonna put it on a tree and then... Hello Shaded Seal. Biobank did not make an announcement. What an asshole. Yo, thank you for the sub. Okay, why is this blue instead of purple? We want this to be like a glowing purple. Maybe this is better. Just multiple pictures remixed together. I think I would be that. My camera's shaking. Yeah, that's because when I touch my desk, my camera shakes. Nothing I can do. Hello, Dilly Bird. Still blue. Did I compile? I must have not compiled. What the fuck? Give me a second, I'll be right back. And then we fix this. I think I got mentioned this Borderlands 3 is back in store. I don't know what that game is and I don't know why I would care about it. I don't really like video games most of the time. <sighs> so this is not what we want for some reason. Hello Pixel Monster, why are you smiling? Game can I suck true? What the fuck? Wait a second. I had the wrong texture. That's why it didn't work. I don't know what Zena's feeding me, but I can't stop farting. This is not nice. <laughs> I hate this. Boca plant. 
No, it's radioactive. No, no beans. I think the quinoa she fed me was bad. Like it was in the fridge for a week or even longer. No beans, I swear. What's your favorite type of beans? Oh shit, actually yesterday I had sugar snap beans. Or sugar snap peas, I don't know what they were called. Do you think I was that? Well, this is not what I meant to have opened. Mm. This is what I wanted to look at. Uh, 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 uh. There's so many fonts here. It's really cool to just have fonts everywhere. What's that? I was making a review video earlier for a YouTuber and they wanted me to review a supplement they gave me. And that was notes for that. Yo, Captain Salt. Thank you for the rate of two people. I am now famous. Thank you for making me famous. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Yo, what's up everyone from the raid? Oh my god, such a party in here. Right, baby. <laughs> Let's turn this shit upside down, boys. That's full now, someone has to get kicked out so no people can join. It's usually when the rates you can ask everyone something. What do they think about the PC port? Don't worry about Lila. You can safely ignore her, there's no consequence. Hello legend. Bought an email, I might have to respond. Okay, this is way too long, I can't respond to all of this. This one's a banger. Don't worry about Ila. We like her, despite, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Hello, kiddos. Where's my...
I think this is what I do. Lila, I might actually have to do that if I get the job at Microsoft Optimization. <laughs> Imagine. How's your wrist? My wrist is actually pretty good. I can do curls again. I started doing curls again around five months ago. It started pretty easy at 35 pounds per arm. And now I can already do 50 pounds per arm and there's no issue with my wrist anymore. Dude, I can finally do curls again. You have no idea how happy I was when I could finally curl. <clears throat> There's a TI-85. Your forms are... I didn't even know your forms were fucked up. Now my forms actually get fucked up from benching. Because <laughs> I gripped the weight so hard. Because since I moved to Canada, I have a different bar. And the bar is like so skinny. The bar is like bendy as shit. There's like a permanent bend in it already. For just from like 350 pounds. Do you use flour on your hands when working out? No. If I have grip issue, I use the grips. During deadlift, for example. I know some people don't like doing that, but I do. I don't want my deadlift being limited by grip. Chalk it up. I wonder how well it works. I never actually tried. But you know, I do work out at home and I do program between sets. So I would just get I would just get chalk all over my keyboard. That's not good either. Of course I use creatine. I even use 10 grams a day, which is quite a lot. You physically bench three plates yet, or you just know that so you can reach it? I just know I can reach it. The most I did actually was like 280 pounds and I did like two or three reps. In training right now, I do nine reps of 230 pounds. I'm not really interested in actually physically, you know, doing it because I know that would just not be a good idea. Hmm. Zena's drawing is a lot more complex than this. She has like a little, a little branch coming out here. Honestly, I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. I'm gonna physically bench 315 once I actually like can physically bench 360 or something. Oh, I already feel pretty strong. The knowledge that I could do it is enough to me. Let's do some workouts with push-ups, pull-ups, etc. And pull-ups or weighted pull-ups are part of my workout. But I don't do push-ups except for cardio.
Sascha Huber. That's a German YouTuber, right? I feel like I've seen some of his stuff. There we go. Just, I, I knew of that since over a year. I knew of that before that was Pepla, because I know the guy that made it. And I don't care about it, because it's useless. Leela is complaining about people pronouncing a name wrong? I never see anyone pronounce it wrong, but actually, I also never see anyone pronounce it. I'm the only one ever pronouncing it, I see. Leela is part of the ship, part of the crew. Part of the crew, part of the ship? How do you... which one is it? You know what, at least without Lila, no one would ask me about PC port. There would be one improvement without Lila. <laughs> okay, I want there to be like green ooze coming out of the tree. See, the thing is, LibSM64 has been done before LibSM64 has been done. It's just that no one cared. And then LibSM64 people suddenly cared. And then everyone started writing me about it. And I was just like, I've seen this before. This has already been made. Someone else has already made this. Do I know Lackmillard? I mean, I don't personally know him. I've only ever exchanged a few messages with him. You ever thought about doing any, any PSX game? No. I don't even know a single PSX game. You say it's been done already, but I don't see it done yet. No idea what even it's done already. What do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? You're talking about Little SM64? Yes. Why Sky has made the LibSM64 way before LibSM64? I even have a tweet about it. I'll prove to you that LibSM64 has been done way before LibSM64 had been done. Maybe it was in response to this? Nope. Where did I do it? I definitely posted it somewhere. Okay, you know what? Maybe I deleted the tweet. Shit. Guess I can't prove it. Do 
the wheel. Kaze, that works too. Something that's not moving, but it's more like it's just plug in. Yes, that is exactly what I've been talking about. Wise guy has taken R64 source code and he has extracted the Mari movement into a Python library that you can plug into anything. And that was half a year before LibSM64 came out. But Wise guy doesn't have any social media and he was busy with other stuff, so he didn't give it a proper release. So that's why no one gave a shit. That's all there is to it. No, the Minecraft mod is based on libsm64. No one outside like 15 people in the simple Discord knew of libsm64 or not like like wise case like maybe he called it lip mario or something. I think it was called Lip Mario. And then as soon as Lip SM64 came out, everyone wrote me, Case, have you seen this? Case, have you seen this? And it's like, yes, I've seen the whole thing done before. It's really not some revolutionary thing. He did it in just a few days. Right, I I posted it because I was like, yeah, PC port is silly, because if we wanted, we could just take Mario's movement and port it to a new engine. There's no reason to try to emulate N64 graphics on PC natively, somehow, whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. So I posted that. There's no DLL, Lauda slash mod owner for PC port. I have no idea. I don't know anything about the PC port. Or I know very little about it because I don't care about it. I know that they have things to allow multiplayer support and I know that they have things to allow custom maps and multiplayer and stuff like that. And what they have set up is very cool. But obviously modding that is very limited because you have to make sure certain systems stay intact for the multiplayer mod to work. Meme review. Which Christian park are you? Oh god. Which Christian school show the park are you? He looks like a movie nerd here. You know what? I'll be this one here. Kurisu Pratsu san. Yes. Mod loaders can surpass this issue. Okay, what is a mod loader? Because it's literally impossible to surpass that issue. I have no idea what this is. I'm saying that no matter what you do, you can't just load some data and have every mod playable. Because you will have to recompile things for certain ways to mod the game. So like it's literally just not physically possible. 
unless you like load the whole game and discard what you originally had. But at that point, you don't really have a mod loader, you have a compiler. At that point, what's the point of the whole thing? You're just downloading an exe file and executing it. The way that Mario 64 multiplayer works with custom stuff for Romex is that you have to you have to use Lua scripts and it can run those Lua scripts from like it can just download them and run them so it doesn't have to compile them. Yes. Exactly, Greeny, that's possible, but then you can't actually change the uh, mechanics. What if you wanted to make a mod where Mario uh, is actually Link and you're actually playing Ocarina of Time and that's your mod? Your mod is just Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Okay, we got this, and now I want some vines around. Where's the tree part of the model? The whole thing will have to rotate, and the tree will rotate with it. Yeah, and it's growing out of the tree. Well, the vines probably shouldn't be part of the actual model here. The vines will probably be part of the main model. Uh, actually, we have to animate some of them. Hmm. First of all, we have to make leaves grow out of here at the base to hide the transition here. What does the mod loader do? Can you like say that first? Because maybe I'm completely misunderstanding what you mean. It just doesn't sound like a sensible word to me right now. Cross is gonna be an enemy. The purpose of a mod loader is not to recompile things, right? That's like you need the original source code for that, which I guess for Mario 6 we have it. But first things like Minecraft or like Skyrim. Or the Ocarina of Time mod loader. The Ocarina of Time mod loader just kinda of replaces files in the ROM. I'm not really interested in, in hacking other games. Uh, actually, I mean, some I would be interested in, but I don't have the time to do it. And I don't have infinite money, so I gotta spend my time wisely. All right, Captain South. Bye bye. Good night.
I need a fuzzy leaf. Your raid will be remembered. It's one for the histories. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. He is part of the gang now. Dude, I don't have fuzzy leaves like this. These fuzzy leaves look so cool though. Maybe we can check like taxa resource or something. Resource. Yo, is this Axel? That's Axel from the Simple Lipsticks card. Hello, Luke. <sighs> mm, that's too low resolution. All the ones I've seen are too low res. Maybe one of these works after all. Is there maybe another Piranha plant with leaf snake Zena drew here? I wonder where she got the idea from. Puddles SI, hello Puddles. Dude, if I get a pet, I'll get another rabbit as well. Rabbits are the best pet. I had two rabbits as a child. A mother and a baby rabbit. We also had a lot of ra other rabbits that I thought were our pets, but my dad slaughtered them all. <laughs> and then we ate them. <laughs> yeah. A lovebird was that. Terrier uses a lot of assembly to not much, but I'm not really sure what that means on code level. So they load different assembly hooks, and those assembly hooks change behaviors inside the game. Somebody in the men's cut that is actually when the hook is caught. Uh, that makes some sense.
But yeah, that's still severely more limited than just allowing any mod to happen. Right, so you wouldn't be able to support every mod with that. You would only be able to support mods that have been written for this mod loader. That's the big issue that I'm having. Yeah, exactly. Right, that was, that was like my initial point. Saying that I would still feel more limited. Well, there's a common name for the genus Apagornis, a small group of parrots in the old world parrot family. Huh. So you got a baby parrot, small parrot. So uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. But no, a system like that, if it's implemented from the very get-go of the game modding community starting, probably the best way to do it. But with something like Mario 64, where we already have all these mods that are absolutely not implementable like that, it's a bit awkward. But for games like Skyrim, I imagine that's a lot cooler. Absolutely, I think so too. Modability is like the biggest predictor for a game's success, if you ask me. That looks cool. Well, basically the biggest thing you would have to do is give people resources to be able to write mods that work with this mod loader type thing. Like you'd wanna give them libraries to be able to compile their codes and their assembly hooks. I don't know the best way to do that either, but it's certainly an interesting experiment. You'd probably want to do like a thing that can write hooks, which means backing up all the registers and replacing one instruction with a jar. And then you want to write a thing that allows people to use library functions. Which I guess you just have to allow people to link into the object files. And you basically set. That sounds super easy and super useful. Yes, it's gonna be a boss. 
basically a radioactive piranha plant. I gotta add more vines to this. I don't know if I like this texture here. Maybe there should be like a moving texture. It's gonna be bigger. I think so too. I'm still in the design phase here, basically. Let's give it a try. Hello Kong. That looks pretty badass. just leaking nuclear waste over the place. I still want to make the piranha plant itself glow. The big one. I want there to be like green light coming out of it. I don't think I can make it much bigger. The small one is probably gonna just shoot waste at you and the big one is gonna attack you with vines and stuff like that. And now we need vines all over the floor. I'm gonna add them to this model at first but it's gonna be in the other model in the end. Oh actually, I think we're better off adding it to this one right away. This is still our concept art, so now we want prickly vines all over the place. There's some things here that I don't know what Zena drew. But I'm sure this all has a reason. 
I have some vines I can use. I'll steal those. Dude, how come that under my videos people are begging for things so much? Why am I punished with this and not anyone else? What did I do specifically? Oh shit, this is exactly what I wanted. Oh well. Actually, this might be a bit easier to use. Check the duration, here we go. Controversial take. Go kill him. Everyone, get them. He said the thing. No. Blender, please. Let me go. <laughs> No! This is always gonna take so long. Okay, I have a bad idea. We have to do it in this mode. Maybe this works better. Oh no. This is for 64. <laughs> They're gonna fix it soon. That's what the, the dev told me, but. Oh, the misery. <laughs> Okay, supports death. Yeah, when this thing happens, I do support death. Oh, the misery. I have to wait for this.
How dare you? How dare I do what? I just have to wait. This is this is half my life now, just waiting for Blender to compile shaders. How's your day going? I spent most of my day waiting for Blender today. Yep, I'm on 2.83. Mines look good to me. This one is a bit weird, that should probably be further to the side. Actually it shouldn't be. It should just be one more vine. I have no idea, Pix, uh, Leila. So I'll be standing with someone fool around. Fool around? Wow, this is not fooling around. This is very targeted. Targeted uh, fooling. Why don't you also help me, Leila? Why is it gonna be me? I got too much shit on my plate. Just make the project even more fucked. Yeah, okay, fair. Yeah, you really you really want me to say that? You re don't you wanna just prove me wrong? Don't you wanna just go contribute to Fast 64 to prove me wrong? Do you have any idea how one would create Mario 64 golf course as case? Mario Golf 64 because in some ways similar no, you would probably need special tools for it, which you would have to develop by reverse engineering. So it's like, you have to be a really good programmer to be able to make those tools. Not gonna happen without someone really skilled caring about it. Man, today most of the stream is just waiting for Blender. No, you wouldn't even have a decomp. It would it would be way harder than understanding a decomp. You would have to understand the assembly. Understanding a decomp is baby mode in comparison.
with decomps it's easy. Decomps are always free because the code is like self-documenting. It's C code. With assembly you actually have to think about it. Spikes are facing the wrong way. They're not facing any way. What do you mean? Oh god, these are very free materials, really. I need to press this button. Oh no. Don't take so long, please. In game, you mean? Hey? Yeah, they were on layer 1, that was the issue, because it's a V3 material. They're not facing anyway. Let's just check. <laughs> That's the thing I'm, fi I'm fixing right now, actually. Because they were on layer 1, because it's a V3 material. So they didn't have an alpha channel. And the issue you saw has nothing to do with face direction. They don't even have back face coming on, so you can't differentiate front and back face. No matter what layer you use, you will never get some bitches. I get a lot of bitches. I get too many bitches, in fact. It's turned into a real problem. Pros before hose. <laughs> I see. I wish I remembered what I called this thing. Oh, cool. I still have the file open. I could have just done this. Why are you only popular with Xena and bitches? So, what? I'm popular with everyone. I have not been cheating on Xena, no. I would not do that. But I do every now and then get messages from women on like Instagram or Twitter. And it's always really weird. I even have like a disclaimer on my Instagram now that says, I quote, get the fuck off host, I'm married. And then I link Xena. Because that's much, that's how much of a problem it's been. Because <laughs> there were like one or two instances where someone would pretend to want the commission but then they just turned it into flirting then it was really weird and i just wanted to get the commission done and then in the end they didn't commission anything <laughs> so we do this now does susie have a random hit you up no but she used to randomly send me pictures of her ass or her boobs while I was in a conversation 
on over Discord with Zena, which was very weird. <laughs> and somewhat inappropriate. <laughs> I need to invert the colors here. <laughs> Someone. In case you like the pictures, then you I did not press like on a single one of the pictures. Don't worry. I mean, enjoy the. I am a man. What can I do? But it's not like I like saved and looked at them or anything. And it's not like I asked for them. It's not like I wanted her to send them to me. No, I didn't save them at all. I didn't even really look at them. Why would I do that? If I wanted to look at porn, I could literally just Google it. Google it then. <laughs> what? Right now. <laughs> to prove my innocence, to prove your innocence, you need to Google porn right now. I will not believe you until you get banned off Twitch. <clears throat> I am not acting suspicious. I am being 100% honest with you guys. I could have just lied and pretended I didn't like them, but that would just make me gay. <laughs> and I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm sorry that I am not a gay. Okay, that looks really cool now. Not forgiven. <laughs> God damn it. I will never forgive this straight. Leela in my chat right now. So long, gay Casey. I never looked up Overwatch porn on stream. I could make you gay? How? How can you turn someone gay? You have proof of gay case? What incarnation? This is why it didn't work. This is more than a sixteen. Hear this. Sorry, my husband gets a bit upset when he hasn't had this chalky milk. <laughs> Did Zayna type that? Okay. 
It's getting pretty cool. It's from April Fools. Ah. Okay, what do you think of the Piranha visuals now? You like her? Hello, Biobike. It's not entirely Cerberus, it just has two heads. What's the word? I'm being defamed. Twisted stem. This stuff here? Right, there's some fonts on the stem in Zena's drawing. Oh shit, in Zena's drawing they are purple with green spots. I made them green with purple spots, which I think both is fine. Make a grow from two toxic waste barrels and set up a trunk. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's that's an idea. What if we just make the bottom a toxic waste barrel, and then the top is still a trunk? So we have both. Kinda like so. This is the perfect version. Get it like this, and then this is a toxic barrel. Grow out of a sludge that you need to. <laughs> yes, everyone loves the sunshine piranha plant garbage boss, right? The one that's just standing there going. doing fuck all. Just wasting a minute of your life every time it appears. And they put it into the game five times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Surely Sunshine is a good video game. <clears throat> this one's a good one. This looks like it's from Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> 
We have a great boss like that as his wife. <laughs> yeah. True. They were just efficiently using the resources case. Why don't you get it? He wouldn't, he just wouldn't get great minds like Nintendo and Sunshine. You know what case? Fuck you. It's not bad design because they actually had very limited time. That means it's good. If it was bad design, why do I like it? Checkmate. Yeah, we can easily recolor this if we want to. Oh, that looks mighty. Holy shit, that looks cool. Let's make it purple or like purplish. Fucking windows. Shit, am I allowed to badmouth windows if I work with Microsoft soon? If they take me. What is the name of the mod you're developing? Return to Yoshi's Island 64. Bit of a long name. You guys remember when Skellogs would write people that work with me and tell them like why are you working with such a horrible person? He's just taking advantage of you. I wonder why your back ever got that message. You're really keeping the six I mean it's an N64 game. And N64 games always have the 64 in the name. Any idea when I'll finish it? Probably 2024. If nothing else happens. Yeah, you really missed out. Well, that's true, Biobeck. What else am I gonna do?
Can I really just break the naming conventions for N64 games? Would Nintendo just not license my game if I didn't call it something something 64? I don't want Nintendo to take away my licensing. Yes, this is my bigger project. I am also working on a Banjo-Kazooie crossed with Mario 64. And that one's gonna be done probably 2023. The leak should probably be a bit slower. Hmm. Let me look at that again. Why will it take so long? Because there's still seven courses missing. Yo, thank you for the prime. How am I supposed to get it done much faster than that? It's only the eighth level. We've been working on it for two years or so, and then we still need better testing. You guys think the prana is done? I am feeling the prana is done. Oh, because I only work on it one day a week and I work the rest on Return to Yoshi's Island and Commissions. Nope, Beta is the only one that gets the test. Fuck everyone else. Yeah, I work the technical stuff usually off stream because it's not possible to do it on stream. It's not entertaining enough. I think we can call the Prana done. They maybe it's just gonna spit something at you and the big one's gonna try to attack you. I think with that, I'm done for the day. Well, you're Mario, so you don't have a sword, so you can't cut any. So yes, every time you cut a hat, it will grow two more. But you can't cut a hat, so that never happens. So I don't need to program it. Your idea is in the game stochastic. <laughs> anyway, I'm done for today. I'll see you guys next stream, which is tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>